lively conscience, that for Christ's sake, grace may extend to more and more people and increase thanksgiving to your glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, no kingdom divided against itself can stand, and a house divided must fall. Graciously preserve our nation with its government, frustrate the work of Satan and the seeds of destruction he would sow in every place were he not stayed by your gracious hand. Unite our leaders and our people for the common good, while leading us to hope in that eternal kingdom which is not of this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Lord God, hear our prayers for your servants who suffer in this earthly tent. We remember before you those who are persecuted for the name of Christ. We remember those who suffer disease and chronic illness, those who are facing fear or problems of and conflict of various kinds. Lord, we lift them up to you. We pray that you would do not let them lose heart, but that you would fix their eyes beyond what is transient to the things unseen. By this slight momentary affliction, prepare them for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, when at last you will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Satan once overcame our first parents through the eating of the tree's fruit, so overcome him now among us by the fruit of your son's cross, his body and blood shed, given and shed for the forgiveness of our sins. Bless all who commune with repentance and faith, that in the comfort of the gospel they may be cleansed and prepared for eternal life with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. What was lost in paradise has been regained by the concrete wounds of your Son, crucified and rise, raised again. In Him we are restored as your children and made bold to ask for every need. Hear us for His sake and for His name, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. It is truly good, bright, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who out of His love for His fallen creation humbled Himself by taking on the form of a servant, becoming obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Risen from the dead, he has freed us from eternal death and given us life everlasting. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying,
Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also, Jesus took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Just do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. O Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, in giving us your body and blood to eat and to drink, you lead us to remember and confess your holy cross and passion, your blessed death, your rest in the tomb, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension to heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver